Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amuran Shaktivel. In this video, we will see about design, uh, designing the builder pattern using static inner class. In the in the previous video, we have seen why we need a builder pattern, how we can use this in test automation framework, and what is design patterns on all other stuff. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch them before heading to the, watch this particular video. Right. So we have used an external builder class in the last uh, video. To construct a uh, builder pattern, right? But in this video, we will use a static inner class to to construct the same builder pattern. We will see how to do that in this particular video, right? Without wasting much time, let me head to my IntelliJ workspace. And uh, so this is a small uh, pojo that I have uh, uh, trying to create. So if you notice, there are four variables: name, address, ID, and then Laos Coffee. It's a boolean whether you need to pass a true or false. I have my private constructor. I, I am keeping it private constructor because I don't want someone else to call this uh, constructor. I want only the static inner classes to call this. Okay, so that's the reason I have kept it as private. Okay, good. Now um, to achieve this, uh, I need a static inner class, right? So let me create a static inner class, public static class and this class name is more reasonable to you know mention as student builder because this is a student class right so the builder name can be student builder it's going to help us to create student uh, object right good so i have created a static inner class again if you if you don't know what is a static inner class if you are not used to using uh, the static inner class uh, then you can imagine like this okay you have some uh, variables let's say private or uh, public static uh, string pimp Okay, so you have some some variables like this. Okay, so let's say this is your public. Okay, this is almost same as this. Okay, because this is a static member for this particular class, and this particular class is also static member for this particular class, and then this particular class is inside student class, so it is also an inner class. This is also static class, so we call it as static inner class. Right, very very simple. This is a static member for this student class. Right, very very simple. So you can take an analogy like this, and then you can understand how to use, uh, how to understand this uh, static inner class. Good. Now we are done with this. Now I want to create a student builder, uh, you know, uh, object. For that, um, before that, copy this whole stuff into this uh, particular thing, and here in the in the student class, I am creating a static method called as builder okay that gonna return me a student builder right if i call this builder method it gonna return me student builder so new student builder right pretty simple okay now what else we want to do good so we have this static class now we have uh, you know copied this uh, variables now we want to create a setter methods for all of them okay press alt and insert and then uh, press the setter. And here, there is an option that you have to choose builder. Okay, select all of them, select all of these, and then click on okay. Once you sel select all of them, you get all your setter methods. And after this, you also might need build method, public uh, uh, students uh, build method that gonna help you to return new student, right? At the end of the day, we need to construct a student object. We are not interested in student builder. After setting all these things, we need to construct the student object. When constructing the student object, I'm calling this, okay, constructor, okay, this constructor from here. Which, so that's why we kept it as private, okay? It can be accessed within the class, but it cannot be accessed from outside the class. Good. Now, what do we want to do? So we will we'll pass the name, address, right, uh, ID, and loves coffee. Good. All of the things we will pass. Now we'll try to use it. I guess there is a problem. We need to add getter methods for all of these. Otherwise, the serialization using a Jackson library will not happen, right? Uh, let's first understand what is the error and other stuff. Yeah, this is a simple test uh, that we have used. Uh, so basically, it constructs a request and hit this particular endpoint, and then uh, you know it gets a status uh, code from the response and assert with two not one. Very very simple code, and now I'm going to build a student, you know, to to pass into the body, right? Good. So now let's say I want to use student dot builder. So this is gonna give me student builder. Now if I type dot, it gives me option. Okay, set loves coffee as true. Yeah, I love coffee, and or you also want to set the name. Okay, I can set the name here. So let's say Amudan, 
and at the end i also want to set id again the order order of you setting the variables doesn't matter so you can you can freely uh, you know uh, set the values based upon your interest right you don't have to worry about the orders anyways if you are using a constructor you always need to worry about the order in which you pass the parameters in this case there is no such need again i'm generating a random id uh, to pass it as a uh, id good and i at the end you need to call the build method which is going to help you to construct the student object just press control and one or alt insert if you i am using eclipse shortcuts in intellij so so you might uh, you know uh, don't think you can use your intellij shortcuts if you are feeling comfortable yeah student now i have constructed my student right okay. just copy this and paste it in the body now the for the serialization to happen it needs to have getter method in the student class but we don't have that let's see what is the error it's throwing okay it is telling no serialization found, found for this guy okay actually the serialization is present the pom.xml i have added jackson data bind but the problem is for the serialization to happen i need getter method for all of them alt insert create a getter method and then select all of them click on okay that's it okay again for more readability you can cut this thing and then move it to the top right now you can go to this particular case and again run it this should work okay which if you notice we you know amudan null because i address i want to ignore it so the default value of null is getting uh, assigned so random id that is generated and uh, loves coffee is true so basically we are using static inner class to to build a uh, uh you know to you uh, you know to build a student object using builder patterns right i hope this makes some sense and um, if you like this video please do share and subscribe and you also please share it with your friends so that they also can learn about it thank you guys i will see you in another great video until then tada bye bye